news for the state economy. Federal spending bills recently signed into law will send nearly $15 million in congressional funding to the Florida State University over the next year. Florida State Center for Advanced Power Systems receives the biggest chunk, $8.5 million for power systems research in the effort to craft the Navy's all-electric ship. Through the funding that we've had from the U.S. Navy and, and Office of Naval Research uh, since 2001, um, we have been able to build some very unique facilities here. You can make a very lightweight, very high performance uh, aircraft, okay, or missiles, uh, different uh, uh, vehicles, body armors, uh, sporting goods. The Florida State University High Performance Materials Institute receives another $3.2 million for materials research. Both of those grants part of the government's defense funding. I think we stand a very good chance of revolutionize many, many different things. Okay, not just a commercial like LCD, backlight units, uh, the computer systems, uh, thermal management. The Southeast Climate Consortium, based in part at Florida State University's Center for Ocean Atmospheric Prediction Studies, receives $2.5 million in agriculture funding. The consortium provides farmers with forecasting to manage climate risk for agriculture and natural resources throughout the Southeast. You wouldn't get these if the agencies, the Air Force or the U.S. Department of Agriculture, were not pleased with the work. Uh, they would stop it. So it's a good partnership between us and certain agencies that are interested in the work we're doing. We submitted six projects for them to consider and we got funding for six projects. In total, the federal spending funds six major research projects at Florida State, including $500,000 to fund research on the sources of toxic mercury in the atmosphere.